Hello and welcome to another fasting Q&A with Dr. Françoise Wilhelmi de Toledo. Hello, Françoise. Thank you for taking the time. Hello, Lisa. Hello, everybody. Françoise, can you please give your five best tips of how to have a good fasting day? Oh, well, in the Buchinger Wilhelmi clinics, we do long-term fasting, meaning five days, 10 days, 15, 20 days, or sometimes more, always followed by a period of food reintroduction slowly. Uh, this means that at the beginning, let's say of a 10 day fast, you're not going to have the five less same points than in the middle than in the end. So let's say for the beginning, I would first say, trust in your body and in your metabolism and in your ability to switch from using the food glucose as a fuel to using your own fuel, the fat in your adipose tissues and in your organs uh, as fuel and energy giver, giver, and you don't have hunger because your body is well nourished also when you fast. Listen to your body, rest when you feel tired or stimulate yourself with a walk or with a, with a sh uh, cold shower, partial or total. So listen to the body, it will give you the indications you need. Then if you have something, a symptom or something happens, uh, ask the doctor or the nurse uh, if it's important. If you, and they will give you little advice, very simple to cope with that. Then go for walks outdoor, even if it's for short walks, but it can also be long walks. This is going to activate the metabolic switch to the fasting mode and give you a lot of uh, happiness also and energy. And be the observer of your thoughts and maybe your fears, or maybe you're wondering, oh, I thought it was impossible for me to go 10 hours without eating, and now, see, it's already two days, and I feel perfectly well, I'm not hungry, I sleep normally, and I do a lot of exercise. Um, there are two points at that moment where uh, the self-observation is important, you lose all the crutches you had during the day, the day in your everyday life. So you don't work, you don't shop, you don't prepare food. Uh, a lot of things change and suddenly you have so much time, so much uh, peace in your life. And this is sometimes a bit difficult to cope with if you're not accustomed. And so uh, don't be afraid. This is going to be a wonderful experience. And sometimes you feel like, wow, I'm going to stop that. My fridge is very near. Or in case you are in the clinic, I should have booked another holiday. No, stay. After two to three days of fasting, you are in the fasting mode. And then uh, you don't want to get out most of the time, or at least not immediately. So if you are in the middle of your fast, then I would say enjoy the fasting serenity, the positivity, the energy you have out of your own fat. So it's not that you're not eating, but your cells are fed in another way from, from yourself. So you are in a sort of autopilot situation, which gives you a lot of uh, room in your life. Sleep enough, go early to bed, follow the circadian rhythm, meaning when it starts to be dark, go to bed and, and wake up early. Have a rhythm in your day, a structured day. In the clinic, we have the activities in the morning, then we have uh, the soup and the, and the siesta at noon, and then in the evening, um, again, a moment of, of uh, being together and walks outdoor. And then stop mental activity. Try to learn meditation. Try to have moments where you just in the feeling, in the being, and not always thinking about anything. You have time and you have nothing especially to care for if you are especially in the clinic. And the last thing is enjoy the absence of hunger. Then, and finally, when you are at the end of the fasting, be aware of the fact that you have to say goodbye to this situation. Uh, the peace, the serenity, the space in your life, you're going to go back to your everyday life. So 
then say hello to the pleasure of the eating, the pleasure of uh, functioning like you are uh, accustomed to. Say, uh, check your weight and feel the lightness. Check your blood pressure and feel the normalization of all of these values or at least the uh, bettering. Go ready to get back to temptations, to choices. This is going to be happy, but also difficult again. And especially be disciplined, not only in the four or five days of food reintroduction, like you have in the clinic where the bowel movements are uh, coming back, but you, you enter the phase of regeneration where you are going to synthesize structures of your body anew and you your um, activated stem cells during the fasting they were activated are going to produce now new cells and it's two to three weeks you need to rebuild your body and if you do it properly keeping the rhythm you had during the fasting and eating only excellent food in a very disciplined and conscious way then you will rebuild a wonderful new body and mind. And I wish you with this experience uh, a lot of pleasure, of joy, of self-experience. And also you will have the need to repeat it in a certain time. Thank you so much for this rich basket of tips and recommendations of uh, this clinical experience. Um, I hope everybody found it beneficial. Follow us if you liked it. Leave us a comment or a like. And I hope to see everybody soon. Uh, goodbye, everybody. And goodbye, Francoise. Goodbye, Lisa. Goodbye, everybody.